Hey guys, it's John here, American Taxidermy Company, Akron, Ohio. And the big question um, that I've been asked lately, being deer season, you know, it's all kinds of deer questions and, and prep. But one of the most common that seem to be popping up is what do I do to prepare my skull caps for mounting? Like from scaping it out, cutting the skull cap off the skull. Now what? What do I do with the skull cap? How do I clean it? I've heard of guys boiling them. I don't like that in any way, shape, or form. It can loosen the plate. Um, so here's one little small guy. Um, this isn't that big to all of us, but uh, eight-year-old boy, uh, his first year. But anyways, right here, you can see this ridge, that pink line that forms a Y. That line is where the bone plates, this bone plate, this bone plate, and this bone plate merge together and lock together. And if you boil, you can loosen this and this can fall apart, especially if you cut your skull caps as narrow as I do, okay? The of, plus, if you boil and you sit these down, in order to clean this top off, your antler burrs, if you draw a straight line across that, your antler burrs are going to be in the water. And you can get discoloration in your antlers from doing that. So I don't like doing that. Um, I've heard of guys rubbing salt in it. I've heard of guys rubbing dry preserve or borax and things like that into it. And letting it, I, I've actually heard of guys like having a bucket and sitting this down and covering the top with borax or salt or dry preserve. That, that's just so much time. I, I'm not in for that. So what we're going to use, first I trim some meat. So right here is going to be some meat. Right he, in here is going to be some meat. Uh, and, and a little couple pieces here and there and, and that's trimmed off so this is the entirety of the meat that was trimmed off with a scalpel okay so I'm going to be using a Burnomatic propane torch and I'll show you what I do I actually burn cook burn whatever you want to say call it I call it burning whatever tissue is left behind on that bone. I personally prefer this method. It's fast, works very well. I'm not damaging the skull cap. I'm watching my flame as to not to burn the antlers themselves. And when I cook this side, I burn this side. And the edges, like here and here, by the time I'm done with that, moisture inside that bone is bleeding out of the interior. So now I'll come to the interior and I will just cook that, burn it, until I think it's dry, no more fluids are coming out of the bone. Okay, so this is what we have. Then I take a wire brush, just a stiff little wire brush. I buy these by the box, they're cheap. And what I do is I come in here and I knock off any of my burned pieces that have lifted up off the bone.
All right, guys. So that's it. That's all I do. And now it's burnt, clean, no meats on it. Any tissue that's on it is now cooked hard as a rock and scraped off. This will then get hung up this way, up above like these, in order to mount. That's it, guys. You know, bugs, there's nothing that's going to get to that now. I, I've had antlers sitting up for quite a while. Nothing gets to them. And uh, when it comes for mounting and drill the holes, I use Bondo. So Bondo is going to be covering 100% of that bone. There's nothing that's ever going to come out of that to uh, affect that mount in any way, shape, or form. All right, guys, thank you. Any other questions, just go ahead and shoot them to me. I'm a little busy this time of year, but I'll do my best to find the most common stuff and try to get you a good answer, guys. Thanks.